Great and wonderful people, how on our day? Welcome back to Tessis TV. We don't carry another better or bring it to be. Come on a domot this time around. As we heard that Mommy Tedinekao is dancing in Akire, she is singing, she is dancing and praising God. As KBSC makes a shocking announcement concerning Dr. Elizabeth. For the past three months now, Dr. Elizabeth has not been herself. For those who they follow our gist, she has passed through a lot of emotional trauma. At a point, she was traumatized. She had to run out of the palace in order to recover. Up till now, we heard that she is not yet back in the palace. If you watch the videos of the Ologia Festival, you will find out that Elizabeth is not there. She is not among Kabiesi's wife that appeared. Even Kabiesi's 50th birthday, Elizabeth was also absent. Not because uh, she doesn't want to be there, but because a lot of wasbos are going on behind closed doors in the palace. Elizabeth told Kabiesi, face to face, I cannot be associating with this Oloris knowing fairly well that they want to buy me and, my, and take away my life. I cannot be associating with them. I need my space. And Kabiesi was begging her to appear on the Ologia festival. She said no. She did not appear because of what Aderonke did to her. For those who know they follow our gist, Aderon really hurt Olori Elizabeth so badly. When Elizabeth find out that it was Aderon Ke that really hurt her in that manner, she decided to leave palace. Because there is no way she will be sleeping and be waking up with the same people that want to buy her, that doesn't want any good thing to happen in her life. Okay, we heard that... The Oloris has been giving birth in the palace. Yes, we all are happy just that uh, there are news surrounding their beds and their children. But when he reached to Elizabeth, we heard that Elizabeth was truly pregnant for Kabiesi. And in the sweet for Kabiesi for body say, ah, Elizabeth is pregnant. That is what Kabiesi wanted. Elizabeth was carrying her pregnancy without people knowing until we heard that um all of the children were welcomed into the palace as a prince and a princess as a loyalty that was when the whole bad news started ashley was the i mean oh miriam was there ajeronke was there elizabeth was there so when elizabeth arrived the uh, venue of the uh, welcoming in of uh tobilaba's children she went to go and hug all the Oloris that were there before her. After hugging them, she sat on her chair. After the whole thing was done, she left, only for her to start feeling pain the next day. Yes, and she ran to the hospital. From there, we started hearing stories that um, Elizabeth has lost her unborn baby. How it happened, nobody knows. And it really break her heart. That is why she wanted to end her marriage with Kabiesi. Because she couldn't understand why the Olobis are the way they are. Why are they this kind of bad? That they always want bad news from other Olobis. She was broken to the extent she ran out of the palace. She couldn't hold herself because of the kind of trauma it caused her over losing a baby that she has been looking for so long. And from yeah. there, she says she cannot stay with the Oloris in the palace. To the extent that they drag themselves to the Odua sacred shrine. And if a priest them caused, uh, said that Olori Aderonke truly know what happened to Elizabeth's baby. Though... Aderonke was denying it, but the if a prism revealed that Aderonke should be questioned further, that she knows something about the uh, loss of um, Olori Elizabeth's baby. 
Since then, Elizabeth did not get herself. She ran out of the palace up to you now. We heard that though she has been meeting with Kabiesi, but not inside the palace. Maybe Kabiesi has been going somewhere to see her, or maybe she has been coming somewhere to see Kabiesi. Those are secrets about them that we do not know. So today again, we heard that Kabiesi was so happy in the palace after answering a call. And his elders are beginning to ask him, why are you this happy? What is going on? That was when Kabiesi revealed the shocking, breaking, and loving, and the good news that Elizabeth told her she is feeling pregnant again. Kabiesi was dancing. Kabiesi was singing. Because like I said, when I want to see after Queen Naomi for that palace, Elizabeth will take. Kabiesi love Elizabeth. Since Elizabeth came into the palace, you have never heard any drama concerning her. She doesn't associate with her, uh, herself with any drama. She has turned with Queen Naomi from day one. She has been defending Queen Naomi in the palace. And that is why other Oloris do not uh, like her a lot. They don't like her because she is supporting Queen Naomi, you're going to see. Because she is supporting the truth. Because she did not follow them in order to do evil to fight Queen Naomi. And that is why they are fighting to say that Elizabeth did not have her own child for Kabiesi. Because they not say Kabiesi is going to love her own child more than other Olori's uh, children. But... Like I said, when Naomi told Elizabeth that when the time is right, that God will make it happen. And maybe this time is the appointed time that God has chosen to bless Elizabeth with her own fruit of womb. And it is a thing of joy for Kabiesi this festive season that Elizabeth is giving him a good news concerning about uh, her new pregnancy. When Queen Naomi heard it, Mami Tendunekawa was dancing and praising God. That what God cannot do does not exist, and that is what we are saying. Because the Olobis thought that as they have caused a miscarriage for Elizabeth, that she cannot carry again. But as we all are saying, she is pregnant. Kabies has confirmed it, and Kabies has breaked the news for his elders in the palace as they were all dancing in joy, that God has decided to bless them, the house of Odudua, again. My correct and wonderful people, now the story where we carry come with this. I will make you know that you come for this apropo. Drop your comment, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, stay tuned, stay connected, for more updates will be coming from time to time, about waiting this up for inside the palace of Oni of Ife, allegedly. And bear in mind that all our alleged information we gather from the walls of social media, we do not leave or stay in the palace to tell.